artificial intelligence music and the lies that are out there, I call it the technical truth. Let me address a few things. The big lie, all AI voices are stolen from famous artists. It's combining artists one and two and coming up with a new voice. That is not true, my friends. AI learns patterns. It doesn't learn recordings. It does not store MP3s. The way AI actually learns is pattern recognition, frequency distributions, vibrato patterns, phoneme transitions, dynamic ranges, timbral characteristics, rhythmic phrasing. This is how it learns. It learns by understanding the technicality behind the music, the same way a human singer studies technique, but with computational precision. This is what a lot of people can't get over. They keep citing AI does it a lot quicker. I understand, but that doesn't make it theft. When AI generates a vocal run or a vocal riff, it's applying learned physics of sound production. It mimics how voices work, not specific recordings. Let's talk about the guitar analogy. If you listen to 10,000 blues guitarists and learn how to bend strings, play pentatonic scales, blues scales, and execute vibrato, did you steal their sound? Or did you learn the language of the blues guitar? Think about it. AI does exactly the same thing. It learns the language of vocal performance, harmonic structure, and rhythmic delivery. Now, voice cloning does exist. Yes, there's a camp that is into that bad choice activity, but that's different. There is a legitimate ethical concern when AI is trained specifically to replicate a particular artist's unique sonic signature without permission. Absolutely, and that does need regulation. But most AI music tools are not doing that. They're generating vocal performances based on general patterns across thousands of singers, not copying one artist. The same way I get questions, but Phil, that face that I'm seeing in the picture generated by AI, doesn't that person exist somewhere? And I say if they do, it's a coincidence. But the features are being pulled from a pattern of how humans look. In the same token, the AI tool takes a pattern and generates something new. General AI vocal synthesis learns from broad data sets, generates new performances. No specific artist is copied. Voice cloning is training on one artist, replicating their specific timber, and that needs regulation. And that's where the likes of UMG, Warner, and Sony are stepping in. And I don't begrudge them. They got to do that for their artist. So while there's a discussion of them trying to regulate AI in general, there's also a discussion of trying to cut off people from being creative. They're two different arguments. So we need to stop conflating the two. Poor practices where it comes to AI versus just generally mainstream AI use. There are a lot of people in their homes, in their wheelchairs, sight impaired, not looking to use voice cloning or any dubious means. They just want to have fun, create music. So it's important that we don't mix the two. There is ethical use of artificial intelligence to have fun and make music, and there is unethical, right? One is a tool. The other is an ethical gray zone being addressed through lawsuits and regulations. Now let's talk about the Phil Aim taxonomy because I think this will help those of you who see all AI being used as the same. It is not all the same. There are different levels of AI use in music. So I created this framework to help stop the confusion. Okay, this will help people label what they're doing. Level zero is the human only purist. And at level zero right here, this is someone who says, it all has to be recorded manually. I am not going to allow AI. I ban AI from all stages. No AI mixing, no AI mastering, no lyric assist. 100% human. Now, the labeling that's done on platforms like Deezer does not go this detail. Deezer says there is AI in the music, period. But this taxonomy goes a step further to delineate those who are not using AI in the least bit 
to those who are beginning to use it at different levels. Level one is I'm allowing AI for admin, domain, metadata filing, release planning, and all that. It's not touching the music, none of the musical content, just the organizational part. Level two is where we introduce the use of AI for ideas. I call it the idea spark. Text ideas, only title lists, rhyme options, and so on. Level three is getting into the human allowing AI to come in. I call it human-led AI-aided production. So the human is still in the loop, in the forefront. The human writes and performs the core parts. We can use AI for the technical pieces, such as stem separation. We can use it uh, to do noise reduction. We can use it in other ways to process what has been done. Then we get into level four, which I call a hybrid arrangement. The difference between level three, which is really for the mixing, the mastering, uh, noise reduction, and so on, is that in level three, it doesn't touch the music, but in level four, it then begins to touch the music. So the human provides the lead vocal, the instrument, the melody, and AI generates backing parts. And this is done in tools like Suno Studio. Level five is co-writing and co-performing. We could have a 50-50, pretty much a 70-30, but we have a split between a human co-creating melodies versus instrumental phrases. AI may perform virtual leads alongside human leads. AI can originate core motifs. Then we get into level six. At level six, there's a human in the loop, but they're not doing a whole lot of the stuff. Instead, the AI originates most musical material, the melody, the lyrics, the arrangement. You see, there's a difference between five and six, where we have a 50-50, more or less, versus a level six. You see, so they're different levels. And then we have level seven, which is the human out of the loop, fully autonomous AI, that is the one that concerns me the most. I believe as long as there's a human in the loop operating ethically, we're okay. But once there's a human out of the loop, we're in trouble. Level eight, ambidextrous hybrid policy. Different people would say, all right, it's elevated music, so I don't mind AI doing that. But when it comes to indigenous music from where I'm from, I don't want AI touching that. Um, I don't want AI touching indigenous instruments and so on. So level eight is someone who has mixed feelings depending on the nature of music. So artists apply different levels to different projects based on genre, based on intent, and stakeholder expectation. So with that, you can see that the world of AI use in music is not a, it's not a one size fits all. It's very different. We have different levels. So why does this matter? It matters because transparency kills fear. When listeners know what they're getting, the panic disappears. Level zero purists can thrive. Level seven, autonomous systems can exist. Level four, hybrid artists can innovate. All of them can coexist because the consumer decides what they value. The world is big enough for every level. So we need to stop pretending there's only one right way. I hate it when I hear people speaking ignorantly about stuff they know nothing of. Talking about combining artists' voices to get one voice. That is not how Suno operates. That is not how other tools operate. I hear ignorance talking about, oh, well, they're doing it because they're trying to cut the artist out. No, this is just technology, and this is just the way things have evolved. And then we have the really religious ones trying to spin up fear-mongering. Well, there's not really a spirit of God in this, and stuff like that. While I agree to each his own, in my mind, having an AI read like Alexa, read a Bible scripture to me, or read some other uh, edifying information to me is okay. What's the big deal? Why do we need to fear monger? You know, this is not spiritual. Look, in my mind, the same way with you believing that something's going to hurt you, well, you're already paranoid. You might as well not. But some people don't care. You cannot police people. People will do what they want. Some people will listen. Some people refuse to listen. Okay? In my mind, you do you. 
and let everyone else do them. But don't try to force your viewpoint. You know, trying to say, well, AI creation, mu AI music is immoral. It's ridiculous. It's like saying the arranger keyboard is immoral. Why? Because you're cutting out the bassist and the drummer. You're cutting everybody out. That's their livelihood. How do you know the spirit playing behind in the keyboard? Come on now, it's dumb. Having a backing band, a virtual backing band, there's nothing to be scared of in that. There's nothing immoral in that. And if you believe that is the case, that's up to you. But you can't force your viewpoint on everyone else. So what's the bottom line? AI learns patterns, not recordings. It mimics waveform physics and musical technique, just like humans learn by studying other musicians. My dad had a big old typewriter in, a, in this kind of suitcase, and he would type on that thing long before Office was even a thing, before Microsoft Office came on the scene. So imagine Microsoft Office coming on the scene, and it's easy for you to type and get an electronic rendition of whatever you've typed. A lot of people were up in arms. All the typists are going to lose their jobs. They were okay. They survived. Some of them adapted. Those who didn't did other things. In the same vein, I played this video from Jimmy Jam, one of the greats, telling people you got to understand how it works. Even if you don't want to use it, understand AI and how it works. The problem with a lot of people is ignorance not knowing how things work. My recommendation to solve this is understand the nine levels of transparency I've put into my system. I'm also looking forward to the federal government and other governments in other countries coming up with laws and an understanding of when one is in the right, when one is in the wrong, because all this voice cloning stuff, I agree. I'm not for it. It's wrong. You see, there's a difference between doing what is illegal, right, or doing what is not with permission versus doing something that doesn't even touch nobody. There's some people using AI just to generate a backing track, like a backing band. They're singing. The AI is doing backing band stuff. And there's some people who create the backing material and they have an AI voice sing it because maybe their voice is damaged or maybe they're not able to sing. And I don't begrudge them to each his own. As long as people are not breaking the law, we shouldn't demonize them. But we should let everybody make up their own mind and decide which path to take. I'm off my soapbox for today. Learn more about AI, those, especially the influencers who are coming to the table to share unfounded, unguided knowledge. Some of them do their homework and some don't. Some are very ignorant about how AI works. They categorize all AI as the same, all AI as stealing. Go do some homework. Just Google it, if nothing else or speak to someone who actually understands. I've done a few videos on how AI learns. I'm gonna put a link below. Those folks need to go understand the, how the neural networks work, how waiting works in, in AI music learning. Because maybe then you'll understand a lot of this stuff is just technical. This isn't the place to begin fear mongering about such things. You know, they either use the fear mongering of, oh, it's immoral because you're taking people's livelihood, or, oh, it's immoral because you're doing things so quick, you didn't even work for it. You didn't sweat, you didn't struggle, therefore it's bad. It's like the lottery. Come on, give me a break. Give me a break. I'm done. Check out the video. Let me know what you think about this madness, this foolishness, this unfounded sharing of fear-mongering on social media, especially when some of the top gospel artists very recently happen to be AI, then there's a lot of fear-mongering, there's a lot of ignorance being spoken, and everyone can make up their own mind for themselves. 
You think about it. You listen to Alexa. Maybe Alexa tells you something. How do? You, what makes you feel comfortable with Alexa? But is it because it's been sung? Then it's different. Anyway, the journey continues. <laughs>